Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Donnie again coming out with another video. So in this one, uh, I'm, I want to show you guys how to change, replace your muzzle device in not so equipped home conditions, I guess. Uh, when I say not so equipped, uh, I'm talking about tools. Like, for instance, I don't have a vice or any of that workbench tables, you know, where I can actually have my stuff set up and all because uh, um, I got kids and um, our house is, isn't all that big where I have enough space to actually have my own stuff set up. So I do my best to, you know, come up with some solutions. Anyway, so in this instance, I want to show you guys, for instance, if you want to change your muzzle device on your, um, let's say in my case, it's going to be AR platform. This is AR-15. Uh, and I want to replace the muzzle device that's on it right now, which is A2 birdcage muzzle device. I want to replace it with VG6 Epsilon 556 muzzle device. So uh, here are the, uh, let's see, dimensions are here. If you guys want to see, it's one and a half inch by 28 right hand twist threading i mean this is a pretty common one uh you normally can find these at any uh gun stores and stuff or order online i got mine actually online um for a pretty relatively cheap price i got it for like 35 to 40 dollars with shipping so i want to put that and um, get rid of this uh bird cage muzzle device that's installed at the moment that came with the gun actually this is pretty common muzzle device that normally comes on AR platforms. So I want to replace it with that. And here's my uh, Zion. It's made by IWI, Zion 15. There we go. I never made a video about this particular gun. Uh, if you guys want, want me to, I can do that. And if you guys are interested, just uh, leave it in the comment section below and uh, I can make a a uh, separate video about, you know, what I have on this uh, gun. I mean, it's not like fully decked out, for instance, but it is uh, it is exactly how I want it on my gun uh, when it comes to setup. And this has been quite perfect, actually. It's been running flawless for the, how long, however long I had it. It's, uh, it's been a little over two years, I think, since I had this gun. So, and it's been running quite nicely so far can't really complain especially at its price point um anyway that's a separate topic like i said if you guys are interested to learn more about this uh particular setup let me know i'll make a separate video but for for this instance like i said so here's the muzzle device itself and tools or you know the things that i'm going to be using are um electrical tape pair of gloves and also a pair of scissors and an adjustable wrench um, so this if you don't have this you can use um, let's say vice grips or whatever whichever works I personally prefer adjustable wrench um, just because um, uh, the, the grip portion is actually flat so if you cover it with, uh, with actually a, um, some electrical tape it, it just you know minimize the damage um, like the scratch or whatever surface damage that you may actually do with your uh, with the vice grip but let's get to it and um, and I'll just show you guys you know how I normally do it at home you always want to make sure your um, your rifle is actually unloaded so always make sure the the barrel is empty and there's no round in the chamber, no magazine attached, obviously, and um, always make sure it's in, uh, it's in safe. Let's get to it.
right, guys, as you guys saw on that video, um, it was pretty easy. You know, having some towels kind of cover up the uh, rifle and around the uh, muzzle area doesn't hurt. I mean, I, I do it so that accidentally, you know, I won't end up actually scratching or damaging any other parts. Uh, and other than that, I mean, it was a pretty easy uh, installation process. Remove the old device, I mean, the old mu muzzle device and then install the new one. And let me just bring it up close so you guys can see it, the final product. So there you go. As you can see, it's pretty even and it came out pretty good actually. And it does look good on this rifle as well. I mean, you be the judge, you let me know what do you think. Uh, but otherwise it came out perfect uh, to my eyes, at least exactly the way I wanted it to look. So, and here's the crush washer. So, the crush washer, the concave uh, side, which is the, the more open side, is supposed to face towards the muzzle device and convex, um, the kind of smaller side, if you will, um, supposed to face rear of the rifle to, to the shooter. So, as you can see, uh, the, the electrical tape help to mitigate any of the excessive scratches or anything like that. I mean, there's nothing too much visible to my eyes at least. And most importantly, there's no damage to the barrel. So that's all really the most important part. Um, and when you screwing in this uh, muzzle device, since these are fine threads, machine fine threads, you don't want to force it. If something feels off, don't force it. Um, just, you know, Unscrew it, try to match the threads, and then screw it slowly. And make sure you screw it first with your hands until it's, um, you know, you cannot further actually tighten it with your hands anymore. So don't use um, any any of the tools right away as soon as you put this on because you don't know if the threads are actually matching and uh, you don't want to end up damaging, damaging your thread, uh, the threads of your barrel. Um, otherwise, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. And... Here, like I said, here's the final product. And as you saw, I mean, these are the only tools I end up using. And here's the old birdcage muzzle device, A2. And here's the old crush washer. You probably don't want to use the old one because uh, normally these things are one time, like once it gets installed and gets crushed, uh, you don't want to reuse it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If I miss anything, also please uh, feel free to mention them. Otherwise, thanks for watching. As always, you guys have a wonderful day and I hope to get you guys in future videos. Bye.